always think of you when spring comes Like it's something in the air at that time Don't know why Oh, hello there and uh, welcome to my latest vlog Right, well the session's finally come I'm on Meddington I've got 48 hours I've only just got here, I've just put the bivvy up, get a bit of shelter while I get everything sorted I've uh, got myself in peg 5 where there was 5 and 6 but choose from for me and Keith what we fancied and uh, we've done a coin toss for that where I can't be the lucky winner and I think it was yesterday morning that a fish did come off this swim which is good and as we was waiting for it to come on, uh, the peg just further down from us, a uh, young lad had a nice 33 pounder out, which is great, great to see because uh, he was only on a 19 pound PB and he's gone and smashed it with a 33 pounder. So happy days to him, made, made up for him. And like I said, only just got here, so what I'll do, I'm going to be doing on this. I will, I will um, give you a little look at the uh, bank tackle gear what, what I've purchased for myself, I bought it myself out of my own money it's not a plug for them or anything, it's just for to show you that there is items out there what you can buy without the heavy carp tax on and uh, I'll run through like examples of prices etc of the hooks etc and, and what I think of them so for now I'm going to leave it at there and I will get back to you shortly a nice sunny spring session can't be bad, first time on here like Keith has fished it a good few times had some good good good, uh, good little hits he's had from here some plenty, a good few 30s a few 20s so he's doing the shanes on with us as well he's, he's in the swim directly on the opposite side from me there, peg 12 Shane's also had a good few from here in the past but me being a, a Merrington virgin it's, uh, let's see how it goes you know, in front of me I, I've got a limit of up to 16 wraps out so anything from here to 16 wraps out there I can fish, I know there's, there's a bar what's showing up on the map around around um, nine wraps or so out so I'll have a feel of that feel for the drop offs on there let's let's have a look at that I know the chap that was in here did did spot out quite a bit of bait but he did um, he did land one it was either yesterday morning or yesterday evening it was a 21 pounder but like I said in here now there is 40 pounders in here so I'm still sticking to that theme of uh, a day ticket farter or a UK farter some more good news as well I've um, been accepted for my Willows membership so I'm, uh, I'm allowed to fish Willows as and when it opens at the minute it's still in full flood but uh, I'll, I'll get more into sessions that's up and coming as we go further on into the vlog but uh, for now I'll leave you with a nice little look from out my door at the swimming bin and we'll take it from there. Welcome back. Right, I've sat and watched this water now for a good hour and a half or so. I just had a, a really good fish show right in my area. Uh, I've been informed by next door that the chap that was in here really did load it up with bait. So basically I'm just going to go with, for now, it's two wafters, as you can see. No little German rigs. Two wafters. And a bag of crushed up 12 mil barleys and a few holes with a bit of rock salt and that's I'm just that's all I'm going to be putting in for now see what happens you know so I'm going to put these two in that general area there where it was shot where it's shown 
Um, I've, I've threw the lead out to it and it just seems very firm and it just glides over it. As far as I know, the makeup of this is like a bit of a clay bottom. Um, there's no weed, so let's let's see that the fish could be feeding on the uh, the old bait, or maybe it's just an area what they like. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to whack these two rigs on, get them out there, and uh, see what happens from there. Hopefully, you know, you never know. As far as I know, it's not an easy water. I've watched quite a few vlogs on it. Um, Keith's fished it a few times, a few blanks, but also caught as well. So uh, it's not like they don't come out, they do come out. There's a few forces in here as well, so hopefully we might get a result. So what I'll do, I'll buzz off for now and get these rods out. Shane just gave me a call, uh, sent him lift his rod up and that. Uh, I thought he was just uh, on a recast or something, it's in something, no, but then he's, uh, he's bent into one. And uh, he's had a clean cutter. Oh, a bit wounded there for him now, you know what I mean? These things happen. They do. Where uh, he said he was fishing on the on the plateau, maybe it's just tucking straight down the back of it, you know. So, well, at least at least someone's had a pick up. It's another positive uh, sign. Hopefully, the fish will rid itself of the end tackle. So. See how it goes for uh, further on. It's only like three o'clock now. I've not been fishing long. As far as I know, I've not noticed if anyone else has had anything. I've been getting quite quite a few limes here and there over where uh, I'm fishing, and the odd little slick patch is coming up. So maybe where the chap was baiting up. Maybe that's the fit where the fish was showing, you know. But fingers crossed, it's uh, we're having a little nibble down there and come across in the little bag and the little laughter. You never know, <clears throat> just gotta keep trying. It's a, a waiting game, so it's a full house, the lake, you know. Like I said, we decided uh, that getting five and six, me and Keith, we were first at the gate. It gives us uh, more access to the central area of, of, of this lake, you know. And that's that. Well, once the peg was drawn, as the lad was packing up in peg two, like I said earlier, he had that 33. Well, I know fish have come off over the other side in the last few days as well. Fish have come off from uh, uh, over the nest swim. It's evident that the fish have been showing in my area and in next door's area and just a little touch to my left so more or less online where, where Keith's fishing as well Sun's still out, it's still quite warm and all temperatures are going to drop in that and um, I'm just in mind should he introduce a bit of bait or anything because I've got I've got some I've got some twelve mil bottles with me. I've got myself a bag of uh, half pellets. What they feed to him in here, which will always help. I'm not saying I'm going to use it all. Oh oh. Right under. Come on. About that, always gets your heart pumping a little bit, doesn't it? And you see that little bleep. 
Maybe my first fish of year this will be. As we, as we get further into this vlog as well, I'll, I'll give you my thoughts on this fishery. You know, there's plenty of vlogs out there. People say they love it, people say they hate it, etc. You know, I'll give you my honest thoughts like I always do. And uh, we'll take it from there. It's it's not all about if you catch, it's a good fishery. If you blank, it's a bad fishery. I'm not like that. If you, if you get on them, then you can catch them. Fair enough. But as we go further on, I'll give you my thoughts on it. We're up to now. I'm happy. I'm out. I'm on the bank. I've got two nights. Obviously I'm fishing static. This is my spot. I've got 16 wraps of water in front of me. A bit either side of me. Um, basically it's just a waiting game on these day tickets. But it is what it is. I'm out here, I'm enjoying myself now. So, as we get further on into this, I will uh, have a little look at these uh, bank tackle items and, and whatever else I can ramble on about and what my plans are. Fishing wise, you know, it's it's hard work at the minute. As I do, I do want to get on these waters, what contain these 40 pounders. But if not, there is the odd, the odd water that I'll try with, with the upper 20s in and the odd 30 in. You know, some waters there as well, what's got cats in as well. They're not my cup of tea and that, but Keith does like to have a dabble or a bit of catfishing every now and then. Or they jump on, on a water containing a few cats. Mm. We'll see how it is. Well, I'm gonna get a, get a bite to eat now, and uh, just gonna have a little relax, have a think, have a watch. Should I put what some bass in, or have a recast with a fresh bag back in the same area a little later on. Come on. I'm going to jump off now and uh, see what happens, keep my eye on that there, with this bit of acti activity now. A couple, couple of uh, little bleeps there. And I've got the sensitive as this set were, because I'm using the uh, the sirens on the i3s, I've got them set, they're not on the lowest one. Um, well, they are on the lowest one, it's um, the, the least sensitivity. So any undertow or wind. I fished in Gale Force Winds and they've never been they've never been given me false registration. So hopefully that's something knocking the line out there. I'm, I'm not fishing mega bowstring tight, but I'm not fishing mega slack slack. I've got I've got a bit of a drop on the bobbing, you know. Uh, I'd rather I'd rather be on it straight away than not. I've fished slack lines in the past and I've not had no registration on the bobbin, the bobbin's still been right down on the deck and when I've gone for it real the rod in there's been a fish attached without a bleep so it just shows doesn't it. We've all seen the underwater footage of uh, slack lines, tight lines, what the bite indication's like and obviously the tighter the line the better the bite indication. Well, that's my opinion and what I've watched on the underwater footage all over diff diff various different people that's uh, put the theory to test well enough about that I'll uh, leave it there for now and come back on a bit later Bit of duck palm going on. Front row seats. It's always a good sign when the birds are on it though, isn't it? Everything's proper waking up. Oh well, leave them to me. Well, nothing to report. The last few hours of light now. 
I've uh, put a little bit of earth out, a bit of particle and pellet with the mud barley in there. Not too much, just enough to get interested if anything passes over it through the night. With a bit of luck, hopefully, a nice little update through the night. Well, I'll get back to you all in the morning. So, good night, everyone. Thanks all for tuning in. Well, morning. Nothing happened through the night whatsoever. Um, very quiet. As far as I can see, people facing me. Um, nothing happened over there. Um, so it's all been in darkness, dark all down this bank. So as far as I'm aware, nothing's been out. But today's a new day. Looks like that sun's trying to come up over there now. As the day's breaking, it looking nice. See what happens. Well, it's approaching half past six now. Majority of the anglers on the other opposite bank, still behind the door, still behind one, by one. Don't get it, me. And then I'll see you now, having a good look, thinking of the day ahead, to be honest. Anything can change, it's like I can here. Zigs are banned. Sun was out yesterday, it would have been nice to have a little, a little zig out on top of them bars or you know, something different. Have a look, keep a, keep a good look down these margins. The water's very murky, so I mean, if there was someone sat there, you wouldn't see it, you know. The only telltale signs, really, is when they're coming up or the backgrounds of that water in that sun. Um, leave the rods as they are a few more hours um, I'll probably skip one in and have a look at uh, an, another earlier close in close in and see, see what, how that feels just drag the lead over it and, uh, and uh, fish a little bag over it bit of, bit of corn corn and pellet probably It is what it is. Very, very uh, chilly morning. Yesterday morning was was, was a cold one. Because when we arrived, everywhere it was all uh, frosted up and that. Oh, a fish did come out around half past seven. That thirty-three pounds, that young lad. Went to pick it up. As you can probably hear. Enjoy a nice brew now. See what happens. I'll catch up later. YouTube's girlfriend uh, falling ill. I'm um, having a little change up. I've got a bar in front of me, which is around nine and a half wraps out. I'm gonna uh, put the microflot out in an hour or two. 
as um, out there between me and five, just beyond my limit, fish have been showing. So I'm, go I'm going to keep one rod right out there on my limit, on my limit, 16 wraps on my limit, and then I'm going to search this bar out here, find where it drops off, and uh, present a bait there. Let's see uh, how that goes. Um, what I've done, I've threw two tins of corn in there now with that little bit of particle and um, pellet, the old pellet, um, just to spruce it up a bit. And then uh, I'll get on with enjoying the rest of my day. So. That's how it goes. So, like I say, the showing right in front of peg, well, more or less in front of peg five, and in the middle, in between us both. There's fish. There's something in the general area. So I'm going to leave them for another couple of hours, but it's still early. It's only half past eight. Um, around half past 11 all the commotion of new anglers coming on getting the rigs out baiting up there's going to be disturbance on the water so i'm looking at i'm going to get this find this spot half an hour before that happens get my bait out and have my rods and rigs in situ before everyone else is allowed to start fishing between half past 11 and 12 o'clock Bit of, bit, of, bit of drizzle coming down now it is it is cold like so I'm not I'm not going gung, gung ho on the bait just enough for attraction like I said the pellet the pellet will break down won't take long to break down the, the bits of barley crumb the roach and that in here they'll they'll, they'll jump on that as well um, just the odd one or two half and whole barley's as well with the corn like I said bits bits will still pick that up so I'm not going to go overloading it with 50, 60 bloody spawns, you know. Probably 5, 6 over each rod should be enough to entice a bite with a bit of luck. Right, I'm going to jump off now. <laughs> So much time now, and um, I've had a I've had a little change. I've had a little search out of the, of the bar. Um, I found it. <clears throat> it's roughly a four and a half foot. Why that sun's come out now? I placed a, a bag with a little uh, yellow wafter just on top of it, and uh, just a little touch of bait around it. That's all. The fish have showed every now and then on the. Um, long rod so I've kept that in situ kept that in situ I may have a change around with the colours on that one as well but uh, for up for now that's the only update there's still no fish being caught definitely was no fish according to Ben caught last night neither through the night so let's see this uh, change around in anglers let's see if uh, it gets them moving around what I'll do next, I'll um, have a little look at some of this um, bank tackle gear. Um, like I said, it's not a plug, I'm not a plug for him. It's just uh, something that I've been thinking about looking at saving a bit of money here and, uh, and why not with a, a bit of bent tackle. <laughs> Um, bank tackle stuff I'm not going to get every product out of its bag we've all seen them before the swivels etc and stuff like that you know um, but basically everything saves you a bit of money like your little little rig rings you know what I mean 
they're only cheap as they are anyway, but they do they do, they are a lot cheaper. Um, look what I found myself the um, little the little hook swivels. You know, like you can use them for your um, your Ronnie rigs, etc. You know the ones, them little tiny things like that. You know. Charging around four quid a pack, probably a pack of ten, maybe a pack of twenty. I'm not too sure how many it is. That then was something like two pound, two pound odd for twenty of them, which is ideal. Um, these Zigrig, Zigrig kits, I think they're a bargain. As I know, for me, I've looked at the Fox ones that I've used in the past and basically identical with these though you get more you get more form for less price and you get more of the um, the zigger liners themselves for less price you are, you, you do get like you do in the fox when you do get the uh, the tool for setting them up so basically it's costing you less and um, you're getting more for your money I think that about a fiver <clears throat> these well, I, I do like these these are a size 4 wide gear puck um, I just I just like the shape of these ones and I'll, I'll try and uh, show you what they're like they got a ni nice beat point Fairly sharp as they are, as they come out of the, out of the packet, sharp enough to catch to catch on, you know. And uh, the the chodox as well. These are a size four. Well, I've got these because they do. They just when I seen them on the website, they just look strong as they are. But uh, I've got these for when I'm when I'm on uh, NX Willows. It's a nice strong look. Workers on here. I'm using a strong up, but I'm using a barbed so hook on it. These are these are barbed ones I've purchased from um, Bank Tackle, and here we go. That's the chod hook. Like I said, I like the shape of these as well. You can hear that pinging, stick, stick, stick. Basically sharp enough as they come out of the packet. Um, when it's with with. With these hooks, you're talking fibre for a pack of twenty, which you, you can't you can't grumble at that. It's it's ideal. Little little, little sleeves, you know, when you're making your helicopter rigs, things like that. A couple of quid, you know. I know they're only a couple of quid by bigger brands than that, but it's these are still less in price which is good but uh, for me it's the ox what I'm more uh, interested in like I say a pack of 20 for a fiver the more you buy the cheaper it is you know so basically like, you're probably paying a fiver for a pack of 10 so you're getting, you're getting double the amount for the same price of 10 we all have our favourites and that but it's just some of it look at and like I say it's not a plug for them it's just um, what I what I'm, what I'm thinking of trying and um, if it can save me some money and it can save others some money happy days right I want to get back to this uh, fishing well blanking but at least that sums out it did start um, with some heavy wind before and um, got quite a bit of heavy hailstorm but now it's it's like flip flip to coin now the sun's out it's nice and bright and uh, let's just see what happens oh well nice little update the lake's finally done it's first fish fish of the day and the first fish of the session that i've been on since since i started yesterday i know it did one um at 7 30 yesterday morning but as of when us new anglers that have come on the first fish has finally come out and it's fell to me mate Shane 
who's uh, fishing over there in peg 12 so well done to him uh, it's uh, a nice 26 pound mirror nice clean fish I'll, um, I'll bang the footage on after this I've um, redone the rods refreshed the baits got the rods back out now for the night it's uh, the temperature have dropped today quite a bit the sun's still out though uh, we had that fish around 45 minutes ago I went round and done the pictures for him, reeled in pictures, photos, congratulated him and that like you do so happy days at least um, there's a capture on the vlog not one of mine not one of Keith's but one of all pals there, Jane who you would have seen on the um, Norton Disney vlog he had the two, the common and the mirror down there so a big well done to Shane right I'm gonna be off you now and um, I'll get back to you soon you're on the side there so you only, you only put it on the bot sack group well, two hours ago, three hours ago, but he's having one today. I'm true to form. He's had one. Shane's wrestling there. It's weighing um, 28.14 with the sling, was it, mate? Yeah. Yeah. 28.14 with the sling. We'll, we'll be ducked on that a bit there to go and get it up, pal. Come on, do that. Let's keep it there, mate. Photo bomb this lad. <laughs> what we're saying there, Keith? Yeah. Full moon. <laughs> Big in tonight, pal. Big fatty mate. Yeah. I'm not on about his ass neither. Uh, it's promising, isn't it? That a fish coming out, first fish, though, that. That's come out since since we started fishing. Found the Everton game on. Yeah, what I thought I'd do would um, mention up and coming sessions, what we've got booked. Um, <clears throat> up to now, three sessions booked for the year. Cut as long as uh, Boris allows us to. If there's, if there's no more of these uh, lockdowns. Um, we've got two nights booked on on here, the 25th of April, which is three weeks today, or three weeks yesterday. 
whichever, yeah, three weeks yesterday, because it's uh, bank holiday Monday now. Then I think it's end of June or beginning, beginning of July, we've uh, booked Glover's Lake on the Bathing Hall site um, exclusive for six of us for a social. So that's a, a 48 hour on there. And we've rebooked France for Pleasure Lake for October this year. So hopefully, third time look at, I get to make that trip. Uh, in that, in, in, in between all this, we're going to look at other waters. If, if we can't get on waters that contain these, these 40 pounders that I'd have heard in there, I'll, I'll just look on waters for enjoyment, just to, to still get out. Um, <clears throat> see how it is. Like, no, I know the Northern Disney Complex, that's open, it reopening at the end of April. So maybe after the session, the 48 hour back on here, uh, we, might, we might have a, a trip back down there. We might have a look at clear water. You know, I don't want to be traveling in, in, in excess of like 150, 160, 170 miles away. I want to try and stay in the in the northern part of uh, England and uh, see how it goes. But options are open. You know, I've got um, my daughter's. My da I've got me. Uh, well, my missus is going to be giving birth to me to me uh, me last daughter, which will be beginning of June. That's a due date, so. Any time, end of May onwards, another addition to the family will be here. So then we can welcome the world, welcome in, her into the world. We've already picked the name for her. So it's going to be Poppy, which I've always I've had picked for a few years now. Before William was born, if he would have been a girl, he would have been Poppy. You know, he's acting a bit like a girl lately with all the whinging and that. You know, but. That's what the toddlers are like, he's four now, so he's excited anyway. So, well, enough about that. Back to fishing, like I said, I've, I've got everything all set for the night now. Um, I won't do any up any more updates now until the morning, unless something, something happens, you know, then, then obviously I will, I will update. Uh, been speaking to a chap who watches the watches the vlogs. Sean, he's up in the top corner. He's in the same situation as me. He's doing the forty-eight hour. He's had no luck yet, just like me. But um, it was nice to meet you, mate. And um, yeah, it, it'd be nice for you to jump on any more of the, any more of my trips. What I'm doing, you know, and I have a little bit of a social weir in there. You can get fit and all the lads as well who, who fish with me. Keith is, is mainly who fishes with me. Obviously, there's Dan and Ned and uh, Shane. Uh, sometimes we all do get on together, which we were planning on a basically a five man trip this year onto here for this one. But <clears throat> with, with, with spin of sp uh, swim availability, we've had to stagger it where Dan came and fished peg nine. I think it was Thursday and Friday night and then Ned turned up Saturday morning and he the only peg available was what Dan was in so he dropped into peg nine and done the 24 hours and left Easter Sunday so we had to catch up with Ned then um, I actually work with Dan anyway so uh, I'm in contact with Dan on a, on a weekly basis. Ned, uh, I, I see him from time to time, mainly when we're fishing and that, you know. But we're all, we're all, we're all good friends, we all have a good crack. Right, so I'm going to leave it like that for now, because this vlog is going to be a bit of a monster the way it's going. And I'll update you in the morning. <laughs> It's morning, isn't it? 
It's morning, sun's coming up. Lovely. No. I've had one of the biggest, big, my biggest achievements uh, since I've been doing these logs on, on here. Can't believe it. Kept this evening for a full session. Well, that's alright for me. Usually it's gully bear time every morning. Oh no. I've kept him in. Well, nothing happened through the night. You could hear him out there showing. I thought Cher might have picked another one up. He's been showing over his area a lot. Online with me, just a bit out of my range. I've heard him um, down this margin in at the side of four. Quite a lot. It was, uh, it was quite a frosty one last night. Hailstorm, sleet, rain. But uh, it is what it is, isn't it? Really enjoyed this session. Really enjoyed it. Can't wait to come back. Well, not giving up just yet. We've got still got well. Well, five hours fishing before we need to be off. So, all's good. Um, I've only seen one shore out there. It's further than where they're fishing. It's way past our boundaries, like, you know, this this morning, that was on, on daybreak. But look at that. That lovely. You just see that there. It's breaking through. Ooh, aye. It's right in your face. So hopefully that'll uh, clear all this ice off the bivvy and that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to enjoy this brew now. Keep an eye on this water. Put a few non-essentials away. Let's see how these... Uh, Last five hours or so unfold. Well, Dave, I will um, update you a bit later, maybe from the car if nothing happens, but if anything happens, it'll be, um, yeah, it'll be on here. So, thanks all for tuning in, and don't forget. Give us a thumbs up, give us a like and subscribe, and if you're this far into it, thanks very much for watching, and I'll catch up with you all soon. The baby's dark, the baby's been taken off, and look at all that ice and that melt now, of the uh, majority of Gear away. Just sat on the bed, so I've still got plenty of time. Well, about three hours, three and a half hours, something like that. Still awful. Let's hope that one of these uh, rods rackle off. It's looking nice out there. Still chilly, like you know, but temperatures dropped rapidly yesterday. Shane had taken all that over bait. Keith seeing the fish show. He thinks it was over, right over my area. Which would have been backed at water at that time. So it's a positive sign. Now these last few hours, bites do happen on here. They happen any time on here to be honest. recap on the fishery right as you get to, as you get get here I do like it first come first serve uh, the bailiff bent as you come through the gate he has a book text your names tells you where to park you park up once everyone's in behind the gate the gates are locked and then 
he shouts you on cue order tells you what swims are available and you can have a quick walk round, have a look there's sometimes people are in them swims and that when you get back tell him which swim you want basically then you can purchase your pellets as well pay him the five pounds for the uh, tackle drop off and pick up saves a lot of room in the, in the vehicles and saves a lot of energy for the for an old bugger like myself on pushing your bar around so basically all you all you need to do is pack your gear up put it at the back of your swim load up the quad when it gets here takes you straight back to your car can't say no further than that for a fiver why not treat yourself on it treat treat yourself when you can um, swims lovely and big um, need a bit of wiggling get get the pegs in like but you know it's it's great and these pegs are proper insulated if uh, as, as, as I just showed through the vlog they've got a um, it's like a pipe bedding little, little city pebbles little, little stones covering it and then under it it looks like um, it's like what you use for weed proofing like a like a visqueen membrane you know but that helps insulate so i've not used <coughs> the ground sheet at all to some proper frosts and everything and it's kept quite, quite insulated quite warm you know once you went inside your bivet so that's a good point um, as you do walk round it does look like there's a lot of swims on it for the size of the water but the way they're angled and that um, you stick to your boundaries and stuff, you know. You've got ample water to go at. Majority, a lot of the swims do have features like plateaus, bars, dips, raised areas, etc. As far as I know, there's no weed. Um, going off, off my first session. It's not an easy place. It's it's one of them them day tickets what's uh, basically probably pressured 24 7 very rarely you can book a swim on here and um, does seem like a lot of bait does go into here like i said I've, I've not gone gone crazy on the bait myself just enough that bring them in and you know that bit of attraction it's like I say I bought two two and a half kilo bags of pellets off him I'm going on with a full bag of pellets and just under half a bag of pellets so they'll be used on the next session I put four small tins of corn in with it like that I've had a couple of handfuls of Keith's particle and about an handful two handfuls of chopped and crushed barley and two handfuls of uh, 12 millers and then it's just been the bags so basically it's not it's not been much I'd, I'd say in the first the first 24 hours I'll probably put 12 spawns out in total which it's the Nash dot spot <coughs> excuse me it's um, does an old really loads of bait that and basically the pellets will, will break down the crushed barley and corn the bits of particle will get mopped up by majority of it will get mopped up by the smaller fish if not if not the carp so all in all it's been a, a very enjoyable session R brilliant to actually be out night fishing again waking up outside in the lake it's very quiet area where we are, so that's a bonus. Don't hear, don't hear no traffic, no nothing. The only engine noise you hear is of a morning. Is uh, when Ben's doing his rounds, disinfecting tin, all the uh, buckets, landing nets, cradles, slings, ready for the next person to come in. And that's it. Come round, see how you're doing. Before he goes, when he when he when he comes when he gets back, 
there's a, a no leg core, uh, no barbed ducks, no zigs, no artificial baits. Sticks to them reels and be all right on here. You know, I think the no zig reel makes the captures a lot lower, especially this time of year where you know, spring time zigs do uh, play a big role in a lot of people's angling and on a lot of waters. But it is what it is, reels are reels, aren't they? Right, the rabbits are done long enough, so probably this is uh, the last you'll hear from me. So basically, thank you all for tuning in. Nice to meet you, Sean, as well. Um, I didn't notice if you had anything through the night, but if you did, well done. If you didn't, better luck next time for the way it goes, innit, mate? Um, so, yeah, thanks all for tuning in. Don't forget, give us a thumbs up. Give us a subscribe. And we'll be back on soon. Cheerio. Oh, well. Last hour now. In the snow. Oh, yes. Well, that'll be a goodbye from me. Anyway, like I said, back down in um, just a little over two weeks time looking forward to it really enjoyed the session even though I've not caught anything but and there the, it is what it is look at that be all right for uh, a rod rackle off now so we'll call it a snow carp it's snowing right till next time cheerio